I rise today alongside my uh, colleague, the senior senator from the state of Texas, to speak in support of our bipartisan effort to continue to give state, local, tribal, and territorial governments the support that they need as they continue to recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, while no corner of the United States was untouched by COVID, we also know that every town and frankly every tribe, every city and every state, every local community was impacted in a different way and as a result has different specific needs for that recovery. Now, over the last two years, Congress has provided critical lifelines to communities across the country trying to get through the pandemic and begin to rebuild. But today, almost three years since the start of the pandemic in the United States, there's still more we can and should do to help tailor the federal resources that we have previously approved to better fit each community, each local community and give them the tools they need to address their most pressing local needs. Now, at its core, this bill is about flexibility and empowering local governments that are closest to the people. Flexibility for state and local governments to use their fiscal recovery dollars as strategically, as effectively, and as efficiently as possible. Flexibility for the Treasury Department to continue to implement critical assistance for communities that need it. Flexibility for counties and tribes that host our nation's public lands. As Senator, mentioned, Senator uh, uh, Cornyn mentioned, this bill is the result of a long bipartisan effort that has involved many of our colleagues on both sides of the aisle, on both sides of the Capitol. I particularly want to thank Senator Cornyn and his excellent staff for their hard work as well. And uh, thank Senator Tester, Senator Murkowski, others involved in getting us to this point. I urge my colleagues to join us in supporting this measure. Thank you. Madam President. Senator from Montana.